What is up you guys? Today we're eating at Instagram worthy restaurants for 24 hours. That's insane. Oh my god. That was terrifyingly bad. I'm done. So we're letting you know, are they worth it just for a photo? Or are they worth it to fill up that stomach? Let's go find out for ourselves. Come on. All right, y'all, let's see what this restaurant looks like. Oh, wow. This is oh a my beautiful God. restaurant. I think it might be worth it to come on in here and take an Instagram photo of just the restaurant. Check this out. Look at all their meat that's being dry aged right here. Oh. I thought they only sold croissants here. I guess they serve a little more. We got this open, open kitchen. kitchen. Open kitchen, what's up? Right Man, let me get a piece of that bacon. <laughs> This restaurant in general is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it has a lot of live plants, a lot of open space. It makes you almost feel like a greenhouse with the light that's coming in from these rooftop windows. I like this place, but either way, why we came here was for this photo right here. What the heck is that? I don't know, it's a cube of something. I wanna try it. Let's see how it looks. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, so right in front of me here is a 100 layer croissant egg sandwich. This thing looks nuts, sprinkled with salt on the top. I want to dig my teeth into this. I think I'm just going to go at it. I don't know how you even go at it, to be honest. I'm going to try my damn best. Oh my God, it's solid. I thought it was going to be soft. Look at this, you guys. This is insane. I'm going to try to just smash it down and take a bite. 100 layers, one bite. Stretch this out. Here goes nothing. Oh my god, wow. A hundred layers of croissant in one bite in this Nashville cold isn't good for your lips. I felt those things cracking. Chapped lips, big bite, not worth it, but damn. Really good sandwich. I mean, it's not really a sandwich. I almost feel like we can lose a layer of this and this is more practical to eat. It is a lot of bread for that bite and I don't think you're supposed to take a bite like that. But other than that, the actual egg itself, the bacon itself, the salt on the top, really good flavor. I just think maybe half the bread. It definitely looks cool, but I think this is more practical. All right, so I got the chicken chorizo on a croissant. I think just pick it up and take a bite, homie. That's not how they're supposed to be made, but like, you want to see me do it? Okay, oh, fool, I'll wait. do it. Oh, oh, look at that egg yolk dripping. Oh, look at that face. Oh my God, look at this man. This man got me feeling, oh my God, the way he just licked his dirty hand. Guys, Jake tried to go to the bathroom before this to wash his hands and the bathroom lines were too long. So that means he didn't wash his hands and he just did that. You sick bastard. How is it? That sauce is good. Egg is cooked perfectly. She said it's a corn gravy. Honestly, the croissant wasn't like too much for me. It was like the perfect amount. Also, it's been sitting on the sauce, so it probably mm. softed. But also it think in mind, you only had half of the bite. I had a whole sandwich. Yeah, let's literally count the layers. Do the other, do the other side, do the other side so I can see. Oh, It's like a baby. deck of cards. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's like Hawaiian bread. That's so good. You gotta try this one. I will, I will, but we got this monster now. This one wasn't even on the Instagram. We just saw it on the menu, we had to try it. But this deserves to be on the Instagram and deserves to be in my belly. I'm finishing this one 100%. So this is what the Cuban looked like in their Instagram photo, and this is what it looks like here. A little bit different, but it looks good regardless. It's just, I wasn't expecting this. I mean, I was expecting it, but at the same time, I wasn't. It looks good. Regardless, we got a croissant with a Reuben inside. I've never had anything like this so this will be the first time trying this this is called the Krubin let's go for it Oh, it sounded flaky. Oh, that takes the cake right there. Wow. All the classic flavors of a delicious Reuben, the corned beef, the sauerkraut, the Thousand Island dressing that's on top of it. Everything's so delicious, but then you get the flakiness of a croissant that you're sinking your teeth into. Man, this is mind blowing. This flavors that come out of this thing, insane. Never would have thought I would eat it. Croissant with a Reuben like that. I never thought in my life, but damn well, I am happy I did. This is something I'd come back to. So overall, let's rate these. The first one we rate. Absolutely beautiful production. I would say that's definitely worth an Instagram photo because it was cool to look at. But as far as taking a bite the way I did, I'd say it wasn't worth it. Instagram, definitely. Taste, all right. This Krubin right here, I think it's definitely worth an Instagram photo because it was beautiful and it's definitely worth coming to try. Absolutely out of this world. So there you have it. Let's uh, get on out of here and let's see what else we're gonna eat for the day. Come on. Before we get to lunch, I figured I have a little room for a snack. And this place has this crazy looking pretzel pizza thing, and I wanna see if it's worth it or not. So let's go try it, come on. Welcome to Von Elrod's. Spooky. It is beer. spooky. We're just here for the boobs. Please. It says boobs, not boobs. I was here for the boobs. <laughs> I came for the boobs. <laughs> One thing I noticed here at Von Elrod's, they have very interesting ice. Waffle ice. 
Mm. All right, you guys, so we just got this pizza pretzel here in front of us, and let me tell you, this is the photo of what we were ordering, and this is what we got. I mean, like, they look so different. I mean, I will say, right off the bat, they did this for Instagram and Instagram only. Yeah. This is how it comes out when you actually This is kind of despicable. This goes back to that video we did of where the fast food, if it looks like reality. Yeah, look, at this does not look like how it's advertised. Maybe it'll taste good, but this isn't even Instagram worthy anymore. This, already, I'm gonna tell you, is not worth it. But let's see how it tastes, okay? Roll up the sleeves. Is there even bread or is this all cheese? Okay, yeah, it is bread. This is a pathetic excuse, but let's try it. It could be fire, it could though. could be fire. Pathetic. Not a good pretzel at all. Very just, you know, it's very oily cheese that's on there. You got a pepperoni, which is the only flavor to the pretzel itself, besides the marinara that you're dumping it into. Altogether, though, it's a poor excuse for any kind of pretzel. You're better going to Auntie Annie's at, or Wetzel Pretzel at your local mall and grabbing one of them. Because at least they know what they're doing. At least you know what you're getting into there. This one, not worth it. I'm still in disbelief that this is what we were promised and that's what we got. Like, this is despicable. <laughs> that was so uh, disappointing. All right, now I understand the sign. You're here for the booze because that was terrifyingly bad. Yeah, no one's coming here for no, the food. No, let's hope lunch is better than the snack. Let's go. All right, folks, we got something crazy here. For lunch, we're having a quesadilla spot that is making some really outrageous quesadillas. Look at this picture. My mouth is watering. Let's try it. How you doing, my man? Good, how are you? Good, good. So, I want to do this, the super quesadilla. What else is, are you guys, what's like some crazy looking stuff? Our thing is kind of the quesadilla. Right. It's really good with fries thrown in there, sort of like a California burrito. Oh, uh, I'll I'll do that. Sure. Chicken with the fries. Okay, the let's do that. that? Yeah. yeah. Is there another option yeah, as well? Yeah, so we've got like a chopped cheese. It's uh, built a little bit different. Let's get both of those. All right, anything else? That's all. Oh my God, you guys, check this out. This is probably the most insane types of quesadillas I've ever seen. Look how big they are. This almost like a burrito quesadilla had a baby, and this is what popped out. All right, here we go, you guys. So this one right here in front of me, this is their classic, the Suiza Super Quesadilla, and I am ready to try it. It's got chicken in there. Look at this, look how they come out, giant. This is the whole thing we're looking at here. And we put papas in there. We got papas fritas in here, so it's like a California style. You gotta use that sauce that's what it's there for you're right when it comes with the sauce you got to use it so i can put a little drizzle on there and let's go for it oh i think i just nutted that's a fire quesadilla wow oh my Look, if you're a stoner, I don't do that. But if you are, my friends, sneak up in here and grab one of these style quesadillas. I don't think I've ever sunk my teeth into something so juicy. I don't know if it's the sauce that I really love, but chicken's juicy. It's got great flavor. It's got it's, it's jam packed. I thought the papas fritas inside were gonna be a little deterring to me, but no, it pulls me back in. Those fries are fried to perfection. Go and try yours, Jake. And I got the chopped cheese quesadilla. Looks Let's a little bit less appealing as Brennan's. Brennan's looks like it's a little bit more loaded in there. Mine comes with. It's Ooh. like chili. Yeah, so salsa rojo. Oh, wow. No, it's see chili. That. Oh, my God. Wow. I know when you get a burrito sometimes they put guac on this side, beans on this side, rice in the middle. I want a little bit of everything, so I'm going to break it like this. I've never seen that in my life. But damn, that looks appetizing. Mmm, the flavors. That's what I'm saying. They're hitting me from both sides and they're touching my butt. Whoa, oh, my whoa, God. Whoa, calm it down. There's an old it's lady like, watching. Oh. Sorry, don't look. Honestly, everything from the crispiness of the tortilla is perfection. This is really good. Let me try this one. So let me see what Jake's working with here, okay? So I will say this one looks like, almost like Crunch Wrap Supreme yeah. from Taco Bell right here. I will say it is greasy, it is mighty, but I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna try it, most likely. Oh, you went for the two biter. Mm -hmm. Ooh, perfect. Your face wasn't as orgasmic uh -huh. as the other one. Let me tell you, the other one is a signature because it'll leave you feeling like you want to come back for more. This one was good, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of more of like your normal crunch wrap supreme. It's nothing very outlandish, it's nothing crazy. But Jake, when you try this next one, your mind's gonna be blown. We're gonna need a wipe to wipe down my phone from all that grease. Mm. So old you, man. Oh my God, it's so cheesy. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's insane. It's a loaded quesadilla with everything in the kitchen, slams into a tortilla, and then crispified. This is to die for. Right. This might be the best thing we have today. Yes, sir. I'm gonna be the one to say it. This one ain't just worth an Instagram picture, cause it is, but it's also worth coming to try. This one's definitely it. I like it, but we got a lot more to eat, so let's get on out of here. Come on. 
So this place behind me has some pretty unique looking cookies. As you can see, let's see if it's worth it though. Come on. What is the most Instagrammable cookie you guys have for today? I, I don't know if you guys have different ones each day. Is that the? Well, we have seasonal ones, but they change every like, monthly. Got it. Probably the rainbow brownie that's like Benny. Okay, like, let's get one of each of those. Okay. Any other ones you want to try over here? Which one did you get? We got rainbow brownie and then the funfetti. Also, should we try the s'mores one? Might as Might well. Might as well here. These cookies made. Sorry. Oh, that's amazing. What do you guys do with ones that aren't sold? Oh, okay. I would have said they ate it. I would have eaten it. If <laughs> you guys ever eaten anything that are left over? Yeah, occasionally. Okay, so like... <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> All right, so the total came up to $12 for three cookies. Quite expensive, but let's see these things. There's two of three, but damn, they look good. They look good. Handmade each and every day. They're hand decorated, look at this. too. Hand decorated. Oh, that's Oh, a that one. one looks bomb. Let's go eat them. Come on. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go for these, all right? I think I'm feeling chocolatey today, so I'm going to try this chocolate one, this chocolate rainbow right here. According to their Instagram, they're all hand created, handcrafted, hand designed, hand decorated each morning. So let's see if this is rocking with. As you can see, Pretty loose, that's something to point out, but I don't, that's a little bit too much for me. Here we go. Oh my God, it's soft. I don't know how people make soft cookies. I don't get it. When I make cookies, they're only soft for the first three seconds that they come out of the freaking Let me see oven. the teeth. <laughs> Damn! This is chocolate on chocolate. You got the chocolate brownie with the chocolate frosting on top with the sprinkles. This hits nice. What the hell's going on over there? Be quiet! <laughs> For the next ones, we're gonna have to try them somewhere else because this is about to get loud. Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we're back. Sorry about that. For the next cookies we're gonna try, I got the s'mores. Jake has this funfetti one. They look incredible. This one literally has graham crackers on it and a marshmallow in the middle. And oh, look at the bottom. A whole oh. graham cracker. Look at this. They bake a graham cracker into that it. That is goaded. All right. Oh, this is my favorite cookie. Is that a sugar cookie? Yeah. Oh, I need a bite of that after. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh. oh my god. This one has a pull apart. Oh. Goaded. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that has strength, my man. Mmm. That one's good too. So let's hit this little shop with a worth it or not. This cookie is way better than crumble cookies. A hundred times better. And it's definitely, you can see that it's not like a franchise or anything. It's definitely these like ladies company and they're working hard. So shout out to them. Now for the rating. This place is definitely worth it for the Instagram photos because these cookies are aesthetic, but it's also worth going because the cookies are damn good. But money. $12 for three cookies. Ugh, I can't imagine what buying a dozen would be like. Yeah. Either way, you gotta make money to eat good shit, so. Do your thing, but damn, them cookies were good. And I don't even really like cookies like that. This, I would go back. Alrighty, it's dinner time. We've had our barbecue before, but not quite like this place. Check out these photos. Let's go see if it's actually worth it or not. Come on. Before we walk up into this place, look at the hoodie, look at the hat, look at the hoodie, not the hat, look at the hat. You can pick some stuff up at brendantaylor.com and look fresh, look warm, look cool this winter. Oh baby, it smells better than a biscuit in here. Mm. So as far as the atmosphere goes in here, I want to point something out. This isn't your typical run of the mill barbecue spot. You're not seeing a bunch of grills going on in here. It's very nice. It almost feels like Jake was mentioning off camera, a pizza shop. It feels like it's just a nice family restaurant. It doesn't really feel barbecue, but let me tell you, when you walk in through those doors, honestly, outside the doors, you smell the barbecue and it smells damn good. So I'm excited to see how it is when it comes out, but something you guys should be excited to see how it comes is this merch. If you haven't ordered something, pick it up. Look how fly it looks. If you're feeling lucky, we're still doing a $100 giveaway to someone who purchases some merch. We're gonna be throwing 100 bucks into people's orders. So if you wanna make some money, spend a little bit of money, pick up some merch, brandontaylor.com. Oh my God, you guys, this is probably the craziest barbecue sandwiches I have ever seen. These sandwiches look insane. They're literally stuffed with so much protein, so much meat and, it's oozing out. And the out. price. It was like Pretty decent price. For a sandwich. So before we dig into here, let's dig into these fried, rib egg rolls. That's so interesting to me. They're sitting in honey. Let's see what they're about. Mmm. So this is interesting. It's got like a habanero honey to it, but it doesn't feel all that spicy. I feel like it's actually kind of a little bit lacking in some kind of flavors for what it is, but it's still interesting. It's got to think it's deep fried meat. Mm. That's oh, pretty interesting. That's horrible sauce. I don't know. This one looked interesting, but I don't think I would ever order this one again. I don't think so either. Which one do you want to try? I think I'm going to go for the Alabama Slammer. You go for the spicy one. You tell me what you think, and then maybe I'll take a bite after. All right. Do you think we got to slam it down? 
have to. Oh my God. So these are absolutely nuts. I don't even think mine's gonna all fit in my mouth, but I'm gonna try. Go for it. Here goes nothing. Oh wow, I have so much meat. I can barely even talk. Let me tell you, I never had this much meat in my mouth. I have. This has got a really nice white sauce to it. I can't pinpoint what the, what the sauce is, but I can pinpoint that it has some bacon on it and the bacon is, has this sweet honey to it as well. I would say these fried like jalapenos have so much flavor. They're so good, they're not even spicy. Give really? that a try. That's so good. Mm, that is pretty interesting. It's a one-time pickup, never put down, because as you can see on my plate, half the meat is already on the plate. You can't. This is very interesting. I think it's Instagram worthy. I don't think it's edible worthy in my stomach. Yeah, it's definitely edible. It's definitely like decent in flavor, but it's nothing that's blowing my socks off. The rating is in. This place is definitely worth it for the Instagram pictures, but not so great when it comes to taste. I'm sorry, the people are nice. Ambiance is cool. You're right by the AMC movie theater, so you want to catch a movie after. Great. The bacon's really good. Bacon's good. Overall, I would really rate this barbecue spot. Yeah, like I was going to give it a 4 3. I gave it a 3 4. Okay, look at that. Mix and match. All right. Well, I think we can can't end it off on this note. I think we gotta go find a f fire ass dessert spot. Uh, 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 uh. I got stutter because I'm so excited. Let's get out of here and let's go find some dessert. Okay. Come on. It's dessert time. Behind me we have cotton and snow. Some of their stuff looks absolutely incredible. They're combining cotton candy and ices. So let's go see if it's worth it or not. Come on. One thing before we order to point out is you can actually get martini boozy flavored ices. Like that's pretty wild. Like look at all that. Like, that's if you're trying crazy. To get crazy. That's the way to do it. That's a hangover for sugar. Wait now. Wait. But it's probably damn good in the moment. So we're waiting for ours to come out right now. One thing I want to point out is that cotton candy, as soon as it gets wet, it evaporates. It goes away. I'm wondering how this is gonna go together. So we're just gonna have the camera ready to film it as soon as it's out so that our three dollar investment in this cotton candy doesn't disappear. Three dollars is a lot. That's wild. $16 for an icy with some cotton candy. Wild. But we are in Broadway. We're on Broadway. So check this out. He's actually making the whole thing. This is the start of it right here. Preparing our cotton candy. Oh my gosh. Look at that. A master at work. Wow. It looks like I'm set to start to try this myself. I don't really know how you're supposed to go about it. So I'm going to scoop the icy. I will say this is the thickest icy I've ever seen. It's almost in between mixture. What's that fur on it? That's the cotton candy. Oh. It's a mixture of ice cream and shaved ice. So let's try it. I'm going to just go out and take a bite. Cotton? Oh, yeah. No? I'm cotton. So this place is called Cotton and Snow. So I'm going to try a little combo bite. Not gonna lie to you guys, it's pretty nice putting them both in your mouth at the same time because like I said, it evaporates. So the icy turns to water, and this just evaporates in your mouth all at once. Pretty good in flavor, super sugary though. So prepare yourself before you're getting in here. You might need an appointment with the dentist. You don't have a cavity. All right, so when Brennan lifted us up, I saw a little sneak peek of something under here that Let's Brennan see. missed. All oh, that ice cream. yep, there's ice cream in there. Okay, get a little combo of everything. Cotton, snow, and ice, all in one. Oh, you didn't mention the cotton candy is warm. It's pretty good though. It looks like a hairy bite. Pretty good, but I will say it's 30 degrees out and we're freezing, so I'm done. So how do I rank this? Is it really Instagram worthy? I mean, it is cool in a sense, maybe for a quick story, but even as a foodie page, I wouldn't be posting this up. I will say though, it is pretty good in flavor. It's different than your normal icy, so I'm gonna give it a go. Throw it up on your gram and throw it down your mouth. I kind of like it. So there you have it. We ate the most Instagram worthy restaurants for 24 hours. Hours. You let me know. Was it worth it to you guys to watch this video? If it was, smash the thumbs up. Pick up some merch, BrennanTaylor.com. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.